Practice and Pancakes. As always, I'm your host, Coleman Hodges. We are here in Seward, Alaska. At the Lone Chicharron with Olympic champion Lydia Jacoby and company. We've got tacos everywhere. It's been a busy day. Let's take it step by step. Lydia, you had, you had practice and weights this morning. How'd they go? So I started out at um, six with practice. We did some dolphin kick work and then we did some um, golf swimming, which is where you go as you try to get the lowest score you can, combining time and amount of strokes. Um, then let's see what else we did. We did some fast 50s um, and then a five minute kick set. So it was a good practice and then had a little smoothie and went to work. She made it through the morning. Then Coach Cassidy not only coaches on the team, but also works at the Alaskan Sea Life Center. Can you tell me a little bit about that and what we saw this morning? Yeah, so I'm a marine mammal trainer at the Alaska Sea Life Center, and I work with our stellar sea lions and our ring seals, who we got to see this morning. Um, so I don't only coach Lydia, but I also kind of coach our animals. So I have a behavior background, and I work with my animals cooperatively to accomplish really big research goals and veterinary goals, and working at the Alaska Sea Life Center is incredible. It's a lot of really unique opportunities there. And I think the animals had fun with them this morning too. Guys, I'm gonna have you exit with Jasmine. Uh, She'll show you how to go out of here. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Loves to play. And he likes shoes. <laughs> what do you think about that, Tuck? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what swim practice should look like. Yeah. All right, everyone. Let's practice our spinnies. <laughs> You're so much more enjoyable. <laughs> now we've got tacos, and then it's time for afternoon practice. Coach Solomon, what are we doing today? Uh, so today we're going to do probably uh, 10 by 100 um, with a major emphasis on pushing not only past the flags, but um, the next most available kind of benchmark for the kids, um, kind of on a case by case basis, um, because we have such a wide range of um, talents and abilities. And then uh, once they get done with that, if they do it good enough, we might break it down into uh, a game. So we'll see. having the head, the chin touched, so we don't have that drag on the back of our head, you know? 
So having that down, and then also having our uh, our toes tucked as well off the wall. So we get that moment of really good, tight, long streamline. So I was thinking we'd go starter, turner, finisher. So there's three people on each team. One, one person one starts, job and they uh, go and they tag the finisher with someone in the middle. The finisher tags the third person, which is right under the flag. That turner does the turn and tags the finisher, and the tag goes the finisher and goes to the end. And then you rotate through it so everybody gets a chance to grab the
mic up. Woo! All right. Nice work, y'all.